<laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I don't know if I think it's. I don't know if it's working. Is it on? Who knows? Well, where's the chat? What the heck, dude? <laughs> we haven't did this in a while. We're rusty. Let me see. Show oh, utility windows. Are we in? Oh. Can you boys see us? What up? Big Feist is in the house. DK, Adam, Monroe, Eric D, Chris, what's up? How's the mic check? We got doubled up here with the mics. Turn your uh, phone on silent. Why? So it don't mess us up. So what's been good, boys? How's everybody been? It's been a minute. I wanted to wait this one out till Big Feist was in town so we could uh, get him on the show. What do you got going over here? He's, oh, here he comes. He's doing his intro song. <laughs> there he is. Coach. You need some music with this show. Never have any music. I you know. Go You're right. I should have had him walking in song. right now. <laughs> I had a tiger. Well, what's good, man? How's everybody been? What is new with the Moto Monday crew? What has been new? Uh, let's see. What a Tommy Shay, Corey, what is going down? Well, thanks for being here. Welcome back. It's been a few weeks, huh? It's been a while, huh? Because I normally was trying to stick it uh, first uh, Monday of the month, but like <laughs> right up. <laughs> Who did Still right up? Still in my line. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? Oh, uh, ben, Eric D. Right up. <laughs> so you guys know his deal. Filling. He's Eric D's filling in for you on the chat with the right O. There you go. What up, Sky? <laughs> but like I said, we were trying to do this uh, first uh, Monday of the month, but new Vic Feist was going to be in town this week, so I wanted to wait it out, get him on here. But we had a good week, huh? Yeah. What did we do? It was a good week. It we went did. by too fast. Feist goes home yeah, tomorrow already. Yeah. One week and is in like and out. Sucks. It went so fast. <laughs> he said it kind of <laughs> like sucks. It went so fast. We did some huh. fishing. I had to show him how to do some freshwater fishing. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is he ain't never freshwater fish in his life. <laughs> He's a saltwater fisher, Jersey style. And uh, so I'll be honest with you, neither of us are really big on freshwater fishing. So we had to we had to figure it out as we went. So we tried. We went to Hillsdale. So if anyone's from the area, you know what I'm talking about. Hillsdale Lake's a public lake out here. We went out there in the morning, tried that, and it pretty much sucked. Tell Big Feist to talk into the mic more. Mel's yelling at you. <laughs> uh, Tish D. And uh, that's it. Sucked. Big Feist was caught on the rocks within five minutes. <laughs> so. Uh, we basically threw the towel in there and decided to go to, uh, what up, Brian? We went to, uh, where'd we go next? Oh, Shawnee Mission. So we went to Shawnee Mission Lake, tried that out. And um, it was it was nice. It was pretty out there, but it wasn't much. Uh, we didn't get a bite all day. Nothing, huh? It was more. Uh, no, not all day. We the said, turtles. Yeah, that was the second. That was about it. We, we hunted. I was going to say we hunted the front. <laughs> we fished the front part of the lake in the morning. Kind of off, like, uh, there's, like, a little dock there. But there's so many people in and out on, like, kayaks and boats and stuff. So we were like, man, this ain't really working here, scaring all the fish. So then we, we were hungry, so we went and had lunch. And then came back in the afternoon. We tried to hunt this back little, kind of like a little, almost looked like a pond. It's still connected to the lake, but it wasn't. It was off to the side a little bit. And uh, Big Fison was called Turtles out there. That was it. And then we decided, came home, had dinner, and then we were like, let's go back out again. And my buddy, uh, Sean, invited us out to his private, he has a pond. He has a sick property with a pond in the back, went across track. We went out there, and Big Feist, what, we, were, we weren't even there for like 15 minutes, mm -hmm. huh? No. And this dude starts yanking him in. <laughs> thought he had skills. Funny thing is, we didn't even know what he was catching. I thought he had he goes, a flounder. <laughs> yeah, he comes yanking it out. I'm like, I'm like, what is that, dude? I'm like, because I don't know all the fish out here. I'm like, I know bass is big in, big in the Midwest, but I thought it, I always hear people say crappie. Oh man, we we fish crappie out here. So when it came out, I was like, oh, there must be a crappie. But then I sent it to a couple friends, and I guess it was a big uh, sunfish. So Big Fight's got a big sunfish, and then. Uh, Right after that, he got a, a big mouth bass. Yeah. Probably like a nine incher. I yeah, mean, it was a nice size. It was all right. The sunfish, for, actually, they say. The, I don't yeah, know. Bryce they said, said the sunfish was, was good. Hey, it was good times, though. I, you know, what? at the end of the day, it was more more about just hanging out with Big Feist, fishing, having good times, laughing, and uh, 
the I mean it was bonus that we got or he got to catch something. And then he rubbed it in my face because I didn't catch nothing. <laughs> I didn't even get <laughs> no. I didn't even get a bite all day. Nothing. It was, it was like a shuby from New Jersey or from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Saw me catch a fish. Had to move his operations next to me, <laughs> trying to catch a fish. They start jumping where he was. He goes back. I catch another one. Just I know. like it, just that's like exactly shooting. what happened. He caught one. I was like, "Oh, I'll move down here." <laughs> Chuck <laughs> sat there, come nothing, in, nothing. Come and then I seen the fish jumping. Me. Mel even came out because Mel was still sitting down where I was. A couple of fish were jumping down there, and I'm like, "Oh shoot, maybe I should stay where I was." So I moved back down there, and boom, he catches another one, messing me up, dude. <laughs> but it was good. What else did we do? We went fishing. We went out to the track on Custer stand. Uh, this dude's been eating custard. I actually held out all week, saying I've been disciplined right now. He's been eating custard all week. I've been, <laughs> I've been saying no. And no. we're going after the show. Yeah, we might go after the show. I might give in tonight since it's the grand finale. If he's going home, but I held out all week. I was proud of myself. But what else we did? We fished. We uh, we looked at a ton of land. Obviously, you yeah. know, me and Mel have been looking at land, trying to find our spot. So obviously, big fights out here this week. We drove around. Actually, today we drove mm -hmm. around today almost the entire day and just looked at different pieces of property. So that was cool. Pretty much drove around all of Kansas. It felt like we drove. We did. Uh, we hit how many counties? Three different counties today. I have no we idea. were all over. We hit Johnson County, Miami County, and Douglas County. So we were making uh, the runs, and we actually looked at a couple. Of Decent pieces. So a couple of things there could be, could be, maybes. We gotta call the county and look at uh, look at some things and get some information. Mostly on the utilities. Anybody ever probably uh, built something? The utilities could get you. So you gotta see how much it is. Especially if you're trying to be away from every everything to have no neighbors, so you can put it in a motocross track to get power, water, and all that stuff can get super expensive. So gonna call the county tomorrow. See what up. Oh, nah, nah. Big nigh on here. Big there he nigh is. coming on here with the right up. <laughs> there he is. Representing Maze Landing to the fullest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big nigh. Reverend Nye, dude. He's uh, adopted adopt brother. Yeah, he's our brother. Brother from another mother. <laughs> That's um, it. But uh, what else? But uh, cool. We went out to uh, uh, Midwest Extreme Park on Saturday and uh, rode, got some riding in. Big Bites was out there with us. Actually, Mel came out too. Mel never comes to the races or to the track. And uh, so that was kind of cool to have her and Big Vice out there. What's he saying about the bed? Where's the keys to the bed? He's like, what you, Where's the keys to the bed? Right next to the ones in your Camaro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it was fun, and I was thinking about it because I had I posted a picture up today of me and him, and I was looking at it. And you guys see that picture? Doesn't the Big Vice look like he's shrinking a little bit in the picture? Yeah. Go back to the Instagram picture I posted today and look at him. <laughs> It Comes looks like it. he's four too. Comes with age shrinking. <laughs> like, dude, you're shrinking. But the cool thing, I was just looking at the picture and I was thinking, man, like, from it's just been a long time. Like, it's I mean, it's been a long time since me and you even just been at the track together. You oh, know, it's been as a far while. as like being at a public track, like yeah. last couple of times you might have been here. I don't I think know we you, went out. Not till I don't here. think you've been to a public track with me. I know you came out to Maddox's house when I was coaching one day. Yeah, and you yeah. were out there with me hanging out at, at, at Maddox's place. But as far as like being at the actual motocross track, because you when you're leaving, you're like, man, nothing changes, huh? You're like same old nothing stuff. Nothing changes. Same you're like old same stuff. old stuff. It's true. Same old stuff. Moto <laughs> scenes the same everywhere. You know, it's a small community out here in the Midwest, but it's 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 very like he he's thinking Cali or New Jersey because that's where New Jersey, Pennsylvania are where we went a bit uh, grew up racing together. So he's picturing like thinking back to those days and then looking at it here in the Midwest and going, like, "This is the same old thing it was thirty same, some years same ago." Thing. Same thing, California, New yeah. Jersey. Here, it's all the same. So, but it was good to have him out there because that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, it's been a long time since we've been at the track together. And then I was thinking, I was looking at that photo, I was thinking like, I was like, man, I wish I had one of from back in like 1988 is the first year we started going to the tracks together. And then I'm thinking, man, from 88 to 2020, 2022, that's a big gap. And nothing changed. Time. He's like, <laughs> he's saying it's all the same, man. It's like, a long time. Motocross, nothing changes. <laughs> motocross tracks the same. <laughs> But it was good. So we had a good time out there. It's pretty, man, it's been hot. Uh, if you guys are local boys, I've seen Brian's on here. He missed out. Brian's usually out there with us. Uh, but he was actually out of work this weekend, so we missed you out at the track. But he knows what's up. It's been like, a, um, dude, it's been hot. It's been like whew, tough out here in the Midwest right now. It's going to get even worse this week, going up to like 104. So, but man... Other than that, what uh, you guys been enjoying uh, the Super or not Supercross series, Outdoor series? See some people popping in some questions, and we're gonna open it up here and do live Q and A here with for Big Feist and make it. Yeah, if you got questions for Big Ron here, 
Get Big Ron in there. But what are you guys thinking about uh, the races and stuff? Toe Mac. I feel like I've been having trouble even keeping up with him, Nobody's to be honest with it. Because all I have is Peacock, and I, so I've been just trying to catch up with him after I watch him on Map TV on uh, YouTube. So I kind of try to wait till the race is over and then re watch him. Because uh, on Peacock, it only seemed like I get like one moto or maybe a quick little high level. So what up, Jacob? Jacob was out there on, on Saturday with us, motoing it down, him and his pops. Pops getting back in action. Getting back to work this week after his his wreck. Good to see him up healthy at the track. Um, well, let's see. Tomac and Lawrence. That's that's, that's that, big you, vice has always been you a Tomac here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, uh, let me put him up here. I I got the points over here. Let's just glance at him for a second for the Tomac for the sake up, of old times. Tomac's up for by a but like I was saying, I haven't even seen all the motos and stuff, and I can't remember now that we have big gaps in between. Uh, all the shows. I can't remember who did what, when, and all that. All I know is, yeah, Tomac's kind of been on fire lately. Jet and his brother are super fun to watch. But Sexton's, Sexton's been good. I mean, Shimoda's been coming up doing yeah, some Shimoda's stuff. Shimoda's doing good. Yeah, it's been, it's been still good to watch. Yeah. All right, so here's the 250. We'll stick this in the middle. Some big fights is doing the game here. But let's see here. So these are just point stands. we got Lawrence with the 311 over top of his brother, 284. And there it is, Shimoda holding down the third with 266. Cooper, dude, kitchen top five right now. Pretty good. I would, I mean, even though he raced a couple nationals last year, I would still say this is his full first uh, rookie season since it's his first full year. Top five in points. That's pretty impressive. Coming off the Red Lens uh, win last year. Uh, what the heck's up with that? Hammaker, um, awesome man. Why is that doing that? You see that? Can't read the. There's something on our screen now. I can't read the rest of the names. <laughs> no, it's whatever that is. Why can't? I, why'd that pop up? It's got a picture of us real little over all the names. Oh, I can't. I, see, I yeah. can't read everything. All right, but you guys can see what I can't there, see. So you, yeah, I don't know. What the heck's up with that? that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe low I'm, cost I'm operation. Over, yeah, I'm moving over here. So we say, yeah, we're budget. Yeah, budget. Over me, that's it. Balling on the budget over here. <laughs> uh, Robertson, Hampshire, and Volan. Do you guys remember his pops? I was, I was talking to Big Fights about um, Tylen Volum is this dude's dad. So he was he was he was a pro when I was coming up. So I remember watching his dad. Now his son's out there crushing it. So I say the Lawrence Brothers have been, have been super fun to watch in this class, and it's been cool to see Shimoda just coming on. And uh, did he he got his first win right? Didn't he get a moto win a couple weeks ago? Who remembers? Because, like I said, I can't remember from week to week. Didn't Shimoto get a moto win? I believe oh, yeah. so. Shimoto, right? Yeah, he got a moto win. He didn't get the shirt. overall, but he got shirt. the moto win. Yeah. So, and congrats he up, to Sh He Shim put up his shirt and said, I love Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Love California. Oh, yeah. Cal yeah. USA. Yeah. USA. I love USA. USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a little shout out to Shimoto. Let's talk his buddy out there uh, holding it down for Team Japan and uh, getting in some solid rides this year. But uh, I'm 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 pulling for Jet. I like him. He's he's probably got the smoothest, sickest style out there. And then 450 class. And give me your thoughts, guys. I don't want to just jibber jabber all night. Let me get your guys' thoughts of what you guys are thinking on the races. Put up some in the comments. Make this more of a uh, just like a uh, a live chat here for a second, and then we all can jump in and ask a few questions for Big Fice or whatever. Um, but yeah, get in there. Get your thoughts up in there. We can talk about. Here's Jacobs right here. Red Bud J01. You got that, Feist? What? Red Bud. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> he said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got that? Yeah. Right <laughs> on. You know what I'm talking about. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Red Bud. Red Bud was sick, huh? So that's what I'm saying. I feel like. I need to. Where are you guys watching the races at? Are you guys watching them live on on Map TV? Are you guys doing kind of what I'm doing, getting on uh, YouTube after the races and trying to catch up? Catch up. Where are you guys watching the races? Let let us know. Cause I feel like I haven't seen um, a lot all the motos. Like I feel like I've watched one or two. We watched. We watched. We got back uh, from. We watched them yesterday. I yeah, we watched like, some yesterday. Some of them yesterday. So trying to keep up with it, but I feel like. Oh, I haven't seen as much as I would like to. YouTube. See, that's where I'm at. Chris and me are on the same program. So what is the deal with with uh, 
with Mav TV. YouTube, Jacob, YouTube. So you're all right. We're, so I guess I am where I am. You just got to, that's how you got to do it. Let it ride and then catch up after the race is over. All right. Well, we got the same program. All right. So on 450 class, Tomac with a 317 over Sexton. And then it's obviously uh, just switch this week. Five points, which he. Yeah. He's five points up, which yep. going into uh, before this weekend, Sexton was still in the lead. And then Anderson holding it down. And that's I'm stoked for Anderson because I know he's had a couple bad weekends. I think two weekends in a row he like crashed in the start, and uh, so he hasn't had the best of luck. But dude, I feel like his speed and talent's all right there. So still holding down in third, Roxton with the fourth, and still being strong early in the motos, but then kind of struggling a little bit halfway through. I say Thomas Chase says I, I tuned in on YouTube. Yeah, everybody's <clears throat> YouTube, DK's YouTube. Yeah, we're all YouTube in it. All right, well, I'm good to know. At least I know that's the way to do it. Because I was like, man, maybe I need to go buy Because we, we pay for uh, Peacock for Supercross, and you can get it all. But I'm like, maybe I need to. Deegan's channel. Deegan's channel's got the races? Huh. Craig's channel. Oh, everyone's. Oh. <laughs> do you watch it? Do you watch them watching the races? Or do they actually broadcast? Do they really do that? They can broadcast the races from their channel? Is that is that a new thing? Huh. That's actually kind of cool if they can do that. Maybe they are. Hmm. I don't know. I know Deegan watches the races and uh, and uh, Never commentates. <laughs> he said, that. "Yeah, he commentates <laughs> yeah, he com- So I thought maybe you're watching Deegan watch the races, but maybe you can go to their channel and actually watch it. That's kind of cool if you can. All right, Dungey with the impressive sixth place. Give a shout out to the old champ holding it down, doing much better I think than we all were expecting this year. Brian always gets on heritage of some. It is cool. Wait, what's he say? Yeah, he gets on. Right? <laughs> what did he say? He said Brian always gets on and narrates. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, yeah. That, that's He's Brian. Kind of, yeah. yeah, Brian. <laughs> All the time. Uh-huh. But series has been fun. I definitely got some motors to catch up with. Uh, and I'm pulling. Fice, who are you going with? You like Tomac, huh? I like Tomac. Uh, He's. Boy. I mean, dude, he is sick. I'll give I it mean, to you. Who you guys got? For older guy, it's too Let's bad. go back to 250 class for a second. Who are you guys pulling for right now? For I mean, it's kind of hard not to like the Lawrence brothers because they're so fun to watch. But who's your guys' 250? Who's your 250 guy? And then who are you going for in this 450 class? I'm st- I mean, I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking. Someone shoot something up first. Then we'll go from there. Young royalty. Jesus. Anybody? 250 class. What up, Howard? Yes, sir. We're back here. He's got the RFMX shirt on representing Lawrence 250. I'm with you. Lawrence 250. I'm going to shut this which, off. Real which quick. one, Chet? Jet? Yeah, Jet. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I think that the way the standings are right now, I think that's how it's going to end. But if I had to pick somebody who I'm like, who I want to win, I like Jet. I just like his personality, I like his riding style. I just think he's fun to watch. I like his brother too, but I'll pick Jet. Y'all yeah, go with younger brother. So I'm with you on that. Jet, everyone's going Jet. Two fifty, Corey's yeah, Jet. I'm. I'm Big Feist is Jet. Anything else? Two fifty class. Jacob is Shimoto to win, but I know Jet will do it. Shimoto. I would like. You know what? I'm always, dude. It's always good to just see people. Uh, do things for the first time. Um, it'd be cool to see Shimoda just get an overall. Shimoda, yeah. Because he's, hey, other than this, I'm, and I'm not taking anything away, Shimoda's rips, but he does ride with his elbows in, and I'm like, I like elbows yeah. up and out. He, yeah. he, he, t- watch Shimoda style versus Jet style. Jet's opened up, really opened up on his bike the whole time. That's how I like to ride, and that's kind of the, what I'll always teach. Shimoda rides like that only on entry. As soon as he goes to the corner, he tucks, and he comes, he rides every corner, and he's, he's sick. Don't get me wrong. I just prefer the more traditional open up style, and I always, that's how I, I pick a lot of my favorite riders. I kind of watch how they ride, and I'm like, I like that dude's style, and he becomes one of my favorite. But I would still pull for Shimoda just because, dude. He's an underdog. He's from Japan. It's not easy to come here to the American Series and do as good as he's doing. 
And I would love for him to just get his first overall. Because, dude, the guy's given his life to the sport. Regardless if he has, you know, my favorite style, riding style or not, he's given his life to the sport. And he works his butt off. And to see him get his first overall would be really cool. So, And Jacob's saying, hey, I want to see him win the championship. That would be even cooler. But it is going to be really hard to beat Jet. So let's pull for Shimoda to get a race win in there or overall win. Uh, just for the sake of, dude, it's, dude, these guys worked their butt off, and it feels good for these guys. And it's, I like seeing people w w when they're generally like that smile of like, you know, Malcolm Stewart always has that smile on his face when he does really good and gets on the podium. And I enjoy seeing people happy. And that was, and Shimoda's been happy when he, and when he works for it. And I know during the Supercross series, he, he had a couple races where he got on the podium, but he didn't feel like he deserved it because someone had crashed or something. And he was like, he didn't even. He wasn't even happy. He was like, "Yeah, that one kind of was given to me. Doesn't really feel like good." Blah blah blah. But when he's up there, you know, doing it and uh, earning it, it feels a lot better. And you can see that with the smile on his face. So, let's go, Shimoto, Team Japan. But I think the Aussies uh, are going to be the ones to beat for sure. Let's see, Chris saying here, I would like to see Hunter battle more, uh, like the last. Race. Yeah, that that we race. did see that race. That, that was, was probably that one was of the best race, races yeah. uh, we saw all this year. Um, because it was kind of like Hunter was out front, and then Jet came up past him, mm -hmm. and then Jet kind of walked away for a second, but then Hunter got on him right yeah. on the last lap. Super fun to watch. I think Chet's a little bit faster. Jet. Jet. Chet. Chet. Whatever. Lars. <laughs> Chet. Lars Chet's is a little dude. bit faster you know than Chet. Is? <laughs> who is the dude named Chet? Chet. From, Jet. What is that from this old movie with a dude named Chet in it? Remember? Yeah. I, I, Weird science, Chet. Yeah. Who knows that movie? You gotta be older to remember that one. Chet, the dude with the with the flat top. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even. Do you remember? People uh, are probably like have no clue no, what I'm talking about. I have no idea. <laughs> like, Why'd you even bring that up? Yeah, right. For the old schoolers, <laughs> they watch old movies. If you grew up in the '80s, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, he has an overall this year. Hey, Wait, I didn't know he I won know one. I had one. I thought he, I thought he just got a moto win. So see, that's how much I'm on it. Well, hey, good, congrats. I, I thought he only got a moto win, but so I could be wrong. Right. Jacob's saying he already has one. Okay, okay, we'll pass on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, high five. Good for him. That's what I'm saying. Good for him. I thought he was only moto win. But all right, hold on. I'm going to get a T up here, big T here. It said, hey, got my first bike, 30-year-old. Let's just pull this up here for a second. He says, got my first bike at 30 years old. I uh, appreciate the beginner guide, the videos of yours. Yep, legend. Could be good to see your old crew throw back. Yep. So New Zealand, Aussie. Yep, younger generation missed out. Heck yeah. Hey, well, thanks for joining us tonight, brother. Let's see. Shimona has it over on you. Yeah, at Red Bud. Hmm. I didn't think huh. you won the overall. I missed that. I watched part of Red Bull. That's what I was saying. I haven't watched all the motors. I watched part of it. All right. Well, hey, good I job. I must have been cutting hey. the lawn or something. <laughs> <laughs> I probably fell asleep, to be honest with you. <laughs> I turn races on and fall asleep. Can't keep up with them. And then I'm like, all right, I'll just watch next weekend. Well, good. All right. Well, sweet. All right. Hold on. Let's jump over to 450. We're just talking about 250 for a second there. And then we'll jump in. If you guys got any uh, questions for Big Vice or, or anything motor related. Um, let's do it. So on 450, he's obviously going for Tomac. He's always been a Tomac. I feel like you've been Tomac all Supercross season. Hey, to be honest with you though, dude, the the rumor is Tomac could be retiring, right? I've heard that rumor, but then someone else told me he signed a Supercross only deal. I, I don't know what. I, I, I don't even know. Like I said, I don't even know. I'm falling asleep during the motors. I don't even know Shimoto had up overall. That's how <laughs> that's how up on it I am right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, but. If he was to retire this year, I would say pretty good year to go out on top because if he does win the title, he won the Supercross title, won the outdoor title, and then he moves on to retirement. So, hey, pretty good. But I don't know if that's true. Maybe he'll be back for Supercross. I don't know. But he is going to be uh, probably the toughest dude to beat. How many? How many? All right, who knows that? Because I don't. I don't know this either. You guys are. Are you guys are the masters at this? How many? How many races has he won in a week in a row now? Right? I he's think just it's been six and seven. It. He's been crushing it. He's been killing. It. He's yeah. like really hard to beat right now. So he's he's probably looking pretty strong on the championship. But I'm still pulling for Sexton. I said that all year, uh, early in the year. I wanted to see Sexton uh, get it together and win. And um, he's got the speed. He's got the talent. Just hasn't been able to put it back together uh, yet. Making still kind of little small mistakes here and there. But who's who? Who you guys got? What do you got? Throw it up here. Eric D's clowning me for falling asleep. 
It's nothing's changed. <laughs> nothing changed. Dude, I'm tired, man. <laughs> Come back. Kick the races on late. Huh. Who you got? What are you guys thinking? Just make this a little get get the chat moving here. All right, Brian's up in here. What up? What up? Big big Brian. Who you got, Brian? He said, what up, Big Fries? Brian, this is Brian from the track the other day, just so yeah. you know. Okay. I know who it is. He said, I know who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> who are you guys going for? 450. Tomac, Howard's with you. Howard's with Big Fries. He's got good taste. Right. Well, dude, I get it. He's tough. <laughs> tough. What else? What else? I want to hear from the crew right now. Tomac has it. That's You're right. probably right. That's right. What else? Anybody else? Want to chime in on this? Throw it in? Nope. Nobody else. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's now. Everybody, Tomac, dude. Everybody, Everybody's Tomac. Tomac. All right. Hey. Hopefully Sexton can get it to get it together. I bet he wins a championship in the future, though. Don't count that dude out. Corey's going Sexton. I like Sexton. I, I, can he do it? It's going to be tough, but it did, dude's got skills. He, I bet he, he will he, win a championship sooner or later. Yeah. Just needs to work some things out. Jess is going uh, Tomac. Is that his last one? Yeah, Tomac, Brian, Sexton, uh, Tommy Shea, Tomac. He don't have Tomac. a crash. That's a, yeah, Tomac, think, dude, Tomac's he's an known to have crashes once in a while. So. I would love to see Dungy on the podium. I think, I mean, has he had a podium finish this year? I feel like he, has he? Like I said, I can't remember uh, everything I watched, but he's been really close. I'd love to see him on a podium, too. Like I said, people like that, that'd be a big, big thing for him. I know he he's been close. Back or he something? just came back. Yeah, but Yeah, five back. years off, but he's been crushing it, though. He's been right no, there. he's riding good. So, he's riding good. I would love to see that. Um, but Tomac, so, is it Carson? No, I want to say that right. Carson with a K, right? Carson? You would say that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And I just feel like Tomac is so good late in the moto. It's almost like he, he don't get tired. He almost gets stronger as the moto goes. Now everybody's chiming in quick. Now we got to go cracking here. <laughs> Can't even keep up with it. Like, whoa. <laughs> Good. I like it like Everybody's this. I like it when you guys that. get in here, dude. <laughs> get in here. Make it a little like group chat here. We're all talk talking it up here. Nope. So Howard said he hasn't got on the podium yet, but he got close. Who? Uh, uh, Dungy. So oh. I would like to see that. I'm with you on that. Love sex and stuff. I think Tom I had that sex and will get one. Yep. Agree 100% with DK. Dunge will get podium and with Shugo, he's super fast. At. Hey, I, I'm agreeing with everything everybody's saying. I bet Dungey for sure has 100% chance to get on podium for the end of the year. Most likely, Tomac will probably win the championship, but Sexton for sure has got skills and probably will be a title winner in the future. Jet will probably win the championship. His brother probably will give him some more good moto, uh, moto, uh, give him some good uh, moto battles. Let's see Tomac back late. Yep. Carson's, yep. Oh, Jet is so good. Skills, dude, and practice, dedication, training. Surrounded by good people, good team. He's got a good bike. It's everything in moto. That's the thing. Moto's so hard, it ain't just like one thing. It like, takes so much to make it, put it all together to be a champion in this sport. So, got just, he's got it all clicking for him. So, pretty, pretty fun to watch. How old is Jet? Anybody know how old is that dude? He's young as hell, right? I think he was 19. Is he down? Yeah. How, who, who knows his age? 18, I know he's 19. super young, but how old is he right now? He's super young. Huh? He's, he's the younger of the two, I think. Yeah, he's the younger brother. Hmm. Anybody? 18? 18. 18. 18 years old. Oh, my God. What did I say, 19? Born twice. Yeah, well, dude, that ain't much far off. But eight, born twice, 18 years old. That is insane. 19. Brian said he's 19 now. Either way, he probably just turned 19 uh, if he is. I thought he was 19. So he might I be. be. I could be wrong. I don't know. I just know he's super young. Jet has a great bike this year. And chain. Yeah. Yeah, he's either 18 or 19. Either way, he's super young. And, dude, just think about all the years ahead of that kid yeah. being, yeah. like, dude, the kid's not even 20 yet. I mean, he's ripping. He's about to be a champion. So, all right. Well, hey, good for those dudes. Fun to watch. And um, what's coming up this weekend? Last weekend was uh, um, Spring Creek. What is it? Anybody? Is it Bud's Creek? Because I don't think Bud's is... I don't know. No, it's not What's Bud's, coming up? Uh, you guys know more than me. Come on. Who's 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 on top of all this? Fill us in. Fill us in. Everybody's Googling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to act like I know. I'd have to Google it too. I'm not going to... Oh, yeah, I know, like, I know every race. 
in order. Like, come on. Now I'm just, I'm like, wait, it's Saturday. Races are on. Let me try to find the races. And I can't ever find nothing. I'm like, what the heck? They don't play the outdoor nationals no more. <laughs> then I get on YouTube and I'm trying to find it on there. And then I'm like, oh, sweet. It's Spring Creek this weekend. Oh, sweet. That might be, is it? So I don't think we've had Unadilla yet. We haven't had Bud's Creek yet. We haven't had uh, the uh, Iron uh, Indiana. I know the last one's at Fox Raceway. It might be Indiana. I'm not sure. What is it? Who knows? Everybody knows he's 18 or 19, but nobody knows where, where he's Where's the... <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody knows where he's racing. That's all good. Hey, we're all in the same boat, dude. We're super fans, but we still got to look and see what race it is. <laughs> it's all good, huh? Um, what, yeah, let us know, because I'm just curious. August 13th is Unadilla, so... Oh, is there well, a gap? August thirteenth. That's like two, yeah, that's like three weeks away. Yeah, but there's got to be something, something in between. In between there. Washugal. Washugal. All right, so Washugal this that's weekend. It. All right, good, good looking, Corey. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is laughing. Took him that long to Google it. Come on. <laughs> hey, it's all good. Le- <laughs> le- le- Slow le- on the keyboard there. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Washugal's coming up, dude. Can you guys believe it's already January already? January. I mean Jan- <laughs> July. <laughs> Dude, it's July. It's the end of July, in my opinion. We got Middle. two weeks left. To ju- two weeks Middle left. In this. Dude, we're already in the third quarter of the year. I, I can't know. believe it. The Nationals only go to September 3rd. The only reason I know that is because the Fox Raceway is on our anniversary. Because I remember I think, we should I, go to Fox Raceway, and then I, it's like, oh, I think it's on our anniversary. It. September 3rd, me and Mel married for six years, I think. Seven years? Six or seven. Six or seven. And uh, that's the last round. So think about this. We're looking at two and a half months and the season's over and about two months and hunting season comes in that's even crazier we're gonna go so after this is over we're going scouting we're gonna like i said big fights going to airport first thing in the morning we were out last night driving around looking for bucks we've seen six six nice bucks well three were real One nice and a couple smaller ones but i like to do that at night i like to drive out to the country and scout all the fields and look see what's popping up everything's still in velvet right now but We'll be scouting and getting ready. We'll be in the stands. I actually, I don't want to say we'll be in the stands in two months because last year I didn't hunt till October because it was so hot. And the way this summer has been, there's probably a good born twice. He's ready for Trump. What? <laughs> He's ready for Trump 24. That's uh, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I probably won't be in the stand in September because it's going to be barn burning hot probably. But I'll be there as soon as it cools down. But looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. All right, so this is going to be kind of tough. And um, if anybody has any questions for Big Feist or us as a group, throw it up. I'm scrolling back all the way to the back at the beginning yeah, of the chat. Question mark, yes, man. it's just because I've seen a couple pop up and I just want to uh, go through and I try not to skip anybody. If I skip you for some reason, throw it back up. All right, so it looks like Eric D here uh has something he said big fights did ronnie pay up for eli tomac anderson bet you guys made during supercross no <laughs> what was the bet i don't even remember what did i bet you that 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 uh anderson would win huh yeah and tomac yeah. won he how never, much did i bet you i don't know he never pays his that's all right i bought him dinner all week this week so we're tied <laughs> one night <laughs> We're even. He said one night. <laughs> one night. Plenty. He was over here eat, eating ribs, dude. Where were we? Q39. We're going big. Mm, this was ribs. good. Yeah, it was it good. good if you guys are in the Midwest here, you ever come visit our area, go to Q, Q39. I think it's better. Jack Stack Q39 is kind of like a, the better spots, but I think Q39 might have a one up on Jack Stack, even though I like Casey Joe's too. Um, but we're known for that out here. All right, let's see. So you got to come check out. Um, all right, here we go. Feist Thomas Shea here. Oh. Did you fix the equ- equ- equilibrium, your your vertigo? How's your vertigo doing? Oh, it's doing good. I ended up having to go up to the University of Penn Hospital for uh, testing and everything. And uh, other than that, I haven't had it since I know, huh? December. It and is- uh, they just said if it comes back, they come back up to the university and they'll deal with it. Huh. So. And you had it, didn't you say, because we started talking about it, because remember, I started talking about it, I got it after he got it, and we both had it about the same amount of time. Didn't you have it for yeah, about I had, three months? Yeah, I had a cold, and the cold went away, my ear got clogged, my left ear, and I got vertigo for three months. And that's the same um, thing, that was the same thing, I basically had. I got sick, my mom had come in town from, or from California, she was flying 
from California back to Florida. She was out there visiting my brother. Stayed with me and got, actually, she got me and Mel sick. She got us all sick. So the whole house was sick. And that's how mine started. Kind of felt like I had, uh, my ear got clogged a little mm-hmm. bit right after that vertigo kicked in. And I had it for three months. And then, but a month and a half of the three, I couldn't touch the dirt bike, couldn't ride, was jacked up. <sighs> what the hell's that? Big fight. What is that? <laughs> It's his phone, but what is that sound? It's, it's my neighbors missing me. <laughs> um, and then it all of a sudden, and I did the same thing. Went all to the doctors, got everything checked out. Everything kept back coming back. No, you're good, you're good. Nothing to worry about. You definitely got it. And then it slowly wore off and got back to riding. So it's weird. I don't know what. I went to the chiropractor too because Deegan told me to do that. So I did try that. And it did go away kind of right after the chiropractor. So I don't know if that. The chiropractor did help me. I yeah, went I went. It, it helped yeah. me a little bit. He had so if you my get jaw, it, if you get vertigo, try try the chiropractor. It might yeah, help. It did help. But I don't know if that was a cure. I almost feel like it was just time. Because it like came it, on it slow, answer. got really bad, and then slowly worked, you know wore off. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like there's like this like, Ooh. so I feel like, I don't know if it's a three-month cycle thing. Because like I said, me and him both uh, had it about the same. Here's Big Nye here looking for the vet keys. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them t- next time I'm home, I need to get those keys of the Camaro, dude. Rolling into Lang City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Letting the valet drive it around. Uh, I guess we're moving back to Oklahoma. So Jess here says, leaving Oregon August 1st, going to move to uh, back to Oklahoma. We got to ride this summer. All right. So August 1st, it's right around the corner. Yep. Well, hit me up, brother. Send me the DM. I'll be here. I'm not going nowhere until the end of October. I'm here. Big sis is getting married, and I got to fly back and initiate the wedding. And it's a cowboy theme, so you're going to catch me oh, in a boy. pair of snakeskin cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> cowboy play hat. Play I'm play playing the part, the part dude. I'm rolling in part. hard, dude. Snakeskin, some Wranglers. Play, play the part. Yeah, the little tie thing. Shh, the belt buckle with the cowboy hat. Yep. And I'm going hard. I'm going to look like Johnny Cash. He's in Johnny Cash. I was going to say, wait. Concert, everybody else did something. So, Brian is over. He says, super hot. I'm going to a big concert at the Royal Stadium tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be hot out there. Have fun out there, brother. And I still owe you that chain. I should have gave it to your brother-in-law this weekend when I seen him. I'm parked right next to him. I didn't have it with me. I thought about it when I seen him. I'm like, ah, oh, I should have bought the chain for Brian. So we need to link up so I can give you that chain. Uh, just looking for some questions. And like I said, if you got a question, throw it up. For big fights, motor related, funny stuff, stories, whatever. Or if you just got anything that you're interested in. Um, you see one? No, this one is Brian. He says... In the mid, what are he just saying? What up, big boy? Oh. Big Brian there. Hmm. All right. Nothing here. Nothing here. No, guys, this is when we were talking. You guys falling asleep. No, nah, this is from when we were all talking. <laughs> this is because we were asking them questions. Oh. They were chiming in. So we got to get through all your guys' stuff. Yeah, this is kind of when we. Oh, all right, here we go. Here, did you? Nope. Here we go. Right. We got one right here. Trump. No, that's Trump. Here we go. Here he goes. Here, Tommy Shea saying, Loretta's is coming up. It'll be the 40th annual August 2nd. So Loretta's is really close, huh? And I believe this is going to be Danger Boy's last. I wonder if they got that track back in shape because it got flooded. Yeah, it'll be yeah, fine. Sure. August 2nd. Man, that is close, huh? That's super close. I think there's Two buildings weeks and everything were underwater. Right? Yeah, I sure. think everything's good, though. They'll, they'll, really they'll have that place. Yeah. It'll probably rain down there anyway. But I think this could be Danger Boy's last uh, year. At Loretta, so that'll be really fun to watch. He'll win the 250 40, 40th season, and we're on the, are we on the 50th se- season of the AMA uh, Pro Nationals? Isn't it the 50th? I feel like it is, right? Who knows that? So think about, right? 50 years. And it's kind of crazy when you think about the, the the AMA Pro Nationals, even though you're like 50 years a long time, but that's really not that long. I'm 45. I'm like, so it only started five years before I was mm. born. That's crazy, huh? Yep. The, and that, that's not, that doesn't mean the sport of motocross. That's just the U.S. American AMA Pro oh. Series, I believe. It's 50 in its 50th year. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's get Carson up here. Here, what does this say here? 
Have you, I don't know how to you know. ever Passes think about coming to for a vacation? I can't even say that. What is that? I don't have my glasses. For, it's a, it's a different country for a vacation. If so, please let me know. I would love to meet you. How do you say that? Belize? Yeah. Belize. I believe that Belize? Is Belize. Where is that? I don't even know where that's at, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> sounds tropical, dude. I want to come. I will let you know, but let me know where it's at. Where is that? South America? Where it is that? Like at? South yeah, America. sounds sounds nice. Yeah. Where is that at? Next to Brazil, or maybe. Yeah, that's what. That's what kind of reminds me. That's what I thought of. Yeah. yeah. But heck yeah, we love we love that we like the tropical stuff. All right, so Brian's asking, how did you enjoy Midwest Extreme? Oh, that's a nice track. It is, huh? Yeah, that's a real nice track. Um, that's good. Yeah, next, I I think that out of all the tracks I've been to, there's been a few nice ones. It's, mm-hmm. That's one of the nicer ones. Yeah. So I, my main, my nicest track is, uh, or my favorite track is uh, Bud's Creek. Yeah. You know, you can't beat Bud's. That, that's a nice track. There was a few up in New York State we went to for uh, the Loretta Lynn qualifiers and i can't think which ones they were but there was a couple nice tracks up there buds always had a qualifier for loretta yeah, didn't we, it yeah i think the regional was at the buds, regional wasn't was it? at buds but, huh. yeah i th- but out here that's a, that's a nice track it's good it's yeah and it was i met up with uh just a little uh buddy of mine out there he's on a 65 and uh i like that place because it has that little mini track up front uh, it's like perfect for little kids to just learn. Like it's built super safe, it's, you know, no ruts, and uh, the, all the jumps are built for small bikes. So it was good for him just to get out there and get some seat time, rip around little bricks in. So um, yeah, no. And honestly, they got a ton of stuff out there. They got the main track, they got the fifty track. I feel like yeah. there's two fifty tracks. There's like a really basic fifty track. There's a, a like called the pit bike track, yeah. which is a little more advanced, but it's still nice. You got the turn track, the vet track, you got straight rhythm, you got arena cross, you got trails. <laughs> so if you're ever in this area, maybe me and Jess gonna have to hit it up when he's out here. Uh, it is a pretty sweet setup. Definitely one of the best here in uh, the Midwest. And then uh, our boy Billy Graham takes care of it. Cool dude, owner of the track, super nice dude. Uh, all right, let's see. I don't want to skip anybody. How many times old Ronnie cry after losing races as a kid? <laughs> did None, because he always won. <laughs> no. Did I ever the cry? Only time, the only time... I don't time, think I ever cried. I probably no, got pissed. No, the only time you ever mm-hmm. cried was the first race at oh, Sleepy yeah. Hollow, Pennsylvania. And off the start, you... Looped out. I you remember. looped out, and you came off the track crying. And that's when... Well, you, what? First race? It was my first years, race. It was my old. first race ever. It was, it was 1988. It was at Powerline Park. Out in, it was, well, it wasn't even called Powerline mm-hmm. Park. Then it was called New Egypt Raceway. Yeah, that was your second race. Huh? That was your second race, and you well, finished seventh. And that was the only two races that year. Yeah. And the next year, you came in second in the district. Wait, where, where's the... Did I loop out at... I thought I looped out nope. at Powerline. No, it was Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. Okay, yeah. We so, went there with Neil. You're Neil right. You're right. Yep. So Sleepy Hollow was the first race. Powerline Park was second race. Yeah. You're right. But I did loop out. I do and remember I looping the, out. And I got beat by the 60 riders. And I, and I was on 85, that, so I was next, pissed. <laughs> that next Easter, I don't remember crying, but I'm sure I did. That next Easter vacation, we went down to Bailey School. And you came back and finished sec- second in the district. Yep, I do remember that. And then... Gary then, Bailey's motocross. Then he the was, next year, we went back and you finished first in the district. And you were first for a couple of years in the district on, on the 80. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good that time. Was, that was the only time. So what happened when I didn't win? Did I get pissed? What was my... Um... No, I did. Yeah, you probably got more pissed than me. You're right. He probably, he probably got more fired up than I did when I didn't win. I remember like when I was a mini rider, I used to always smoke clutches. Remember I smoked clutches and all the time. You used to all get the pissed. time. Quit riding the clutch. And I'd be like, ah, all the time. I'd just we burn the clutches out all the time. Yeah. The so you used to get... we just burned through clutches for there for so The long. first year at the Loretta's, we had a really, really rough time. And that yeah. year, I thought I was going to do good because I won my area and I won my regional yeah. going in yeah. there. And then I went to Loretta's and I thought for sure I can get top 10. And that was the goal because top 10 is where the trophies were. So I was like, I'm going to go down there and get top 10. We went down there and we kept... Breaking smoking, bikes and DNF them. We, we blew, blew a bike up. up. We, blew we a bike DNF, up. and then I crashed the crashed out a race. We had a horrible. My first year was the worst year, even though that should have been probably my best year. Yeah, I thought yeah. I had the best chance, and I thought I could have even maybe did better in the top ten, but I, it didn't even work out. And then the we went back two years after year. that. We went, we went, we went minis in '85. Then we went in schoolboy. Um, 
I think I finished 11th in Schoolboy, and I was pissed because yeah. they gave 10, 10 trophies. Yeah. I got 11th overall, and I came home without a trophy. <laughs> I was pissed. And I then actually, the last year was the B class, I think I rode. Yeah. I, I know believe. in the 80s you won every regional and, and uh, regional qualifier and the uh, area and regional. Yeah, you won. That was of them. that was in '91. I remember that because that yeah. was the year I was like, "Oh, we're gonna go down there and yeah. do pretty good." Yeah. And then it, everything first, went wrong. Everything yeah. went wrong. Yeah, the radiator hose blew off and the bike overheated. That was my fault. Yeah, so the home ride and the whole bike's just smoking. And I was in like doing good that motor. When I ended yeah, like, top five, really good. Yeah, and man. the bike smoking and it's like, I said, "Keep on going through seasons." Finally, finally <laughs> blew up yeah. and I DNF. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Whatever. It happens, and, but I feel like even at Loretta's, I feel like even ever, I never left Loretta's feeling good. I always went home disappointed because I always feel like I always did good leaning up to it, and then we'd get down there and I go home. I had a, I had trouble having three solid motos. I always had like two okay and one bad yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I never could put it together to come three consistent. I always had that one bad finish and mess my overall up. But it's tough down there, dude. It's it's tough no matter what class you're in. It's it, a lot of fast dudes. Um. What else? What else? Funny race stories. What was, what was I just talking about? I was talking about... Um, what did I start with? I started that conversation on remember what. Because there was two thoughts I had, and I, I brain farted now. I, I rabbit trailed on the one. You don't remember? No. What did we... <laughs> oh my, he's as bad as me. <laughs> I had two thoughts I was talking about. I, I have an excuse, you know. Um, dang. I had to, something that was funny, old school stuff. All right, here, let's get Jess back up here. He said, Big Price, did you ever think Ronnie would end up doing freestyle when he got older rather than a uh, motor or supercross? What no. do you think? Nope. And, that's, no. and the reason why is freestyle didn't even exist. No, freestyle. So there was no freestyle. So when I left New Jersey, he was basically like, you're going to California to try to be a racer? When I was a privateer that year and I was, was struggling as a privateer. Yeah. So in his eyes, he's like... Dude, you're gonna. This is this is gonna be tough for you to make it. Like when you're struggling at the nationals, because a big jump. You go from A class to the pro class. That's a big difference. To go to nationals. They're way yeah, faster, I, and the, the I, I motors are so to, hard to like finish strong. Like I thought you were to California to race. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I'm thinking that. Uh, well, because that's all there was. Yeah. I mean, in my mind, I was going out there to jump, but I probably didn't yeah. communicate that with you. No. Would you? No, you didn't even tell me you're leaving. No, <laughs> I was out of there. <laughs> Because I knew he'd be like, oh, that's a bad idea. Your van ain't going to make it. He'd have a hundred reasons why I shouldn't go. So I'm like, I'm not even going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to pack the van. When he's at work, I'm just going to dip out. Because otherwise, I'll have to hear a hundred reasons why I shouldn't go and how it's not going to work out. So I just left. And then called you in like Ohio or something. No, you called uh, yeah, somewhere. Right you called me from somewheres and said that some guy was following you. So you were sleeping in the motel. Might have been Peter, P, uh, Pedo Pete. <laughs> Oh, that was at the truck stop. I yeah, remember the truck that. Stop. Some guy was no, that something. was actually scary, dude. I was thinking about it. I was only yeah. I was when I left New Jersey, I was I think I was nineteen or twenty. I was twenty. I was twenty yeah. years old. So I was a young kid. And I'm driving across country in a van all by myself. And um I, I remember pulling into a truck stop and I parked and I, I looked over and this I pulled up to this car, right? And I, you know, throw it in park and I had a you know a little bed behind. I used to sleep in my van. And I remember parking, I looked over at the dude next to me in the car, and this guy's smoking cigarettes, and he's like looking over into my van, and I thought, huh, he looks kind of weird. So I like just sat back like this, and then I was just chilling for there for a second, and then I'm like, Well, I guess I should get ready for bed. And I like looked over again, he was still looking at me, and I thought, Man, that guy's weird. So I like sat back and I kind of got it laid down into my bed. And I'm laying there. And I don't need to even last for maybe not even 10, 15 minutes. And I thought, I ain't sleeping here, dude. There's no way I'm sleeping next to this dude. So I like <laughs> jumped back up into the truck and looked over. And Stu was sitting there staring into the van smoking a cigarette. I was like, Whoa. dude, I ended up driving for like another three hours because I didn't want to be anywhere near that dude. I'm like, I'm out of here, drove forever, and then finally pulled off. And then I ended up finding, I used to, I used to sleep in the truck stops but that night i ended up pulling into a hotel yeah you said you went to a hotel i went to a hotel and just parked in the hotel parking lot and crashed out until i got out there but hey it's sketchy dude you gotta be careful on the roads there's weirdos out there dude a lot of bindings out there you gotta be careful freaking pedophiles dude (laughs) who knows what that dude was up to (laughs) but i wasn't gonna find out i was out (laughs) all right let's see here yeah so born twice saying what is mel going on about official officiate Oh, officiate, right? Oh, yeah, I'm officiating the wedding. What's she laughing at? I say it wrong? She's clowning me. <laughs> I'm officiating the wedding. Officiate. Oh, officiate. <laughs> a fish. 
That's right. I got to get ordained this month. Next yeah. month, I'm getting ordained. So call yeah. me Reverend Ron after Reverend Ron. Reverend Ron for the rest Reverend of the, Ron. the shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Reverend Ron here. Um, I don't want to miss anybody. <clears throat> what bike you riding? All right. So I just happened to see this one, Pister Pister Pro. So I am on 450 Husqvarna 2021. 2021 Husqvarna 450. Been on that. Been on the Husqvarna 450 since 2016. It's been crazy how long I've been on that bike. And I like it. Who's riding old man and... Wait. Who's what? Hey. Hey, who's riding old man and... I don't know that one. All right, here's here you go, Feist. Big Brian's got one. What's your favorite restaurant here? Uh, Andy's Custard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, that's Jim. true. They, you're not even lying, dude. He's been no. there. Yo, he had lunch there the other day. <laughs> we were driving back, come coming back, doing something. And he said, "Hey, uh, pull into Andy's and like give me give me a root beer float." I'm like, for the lunch. Root beer floats are good. <laughs> they're, let me tell you, they're small as so. hell. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're fired they're, up, the mediums are fired are up small about the size. Home. They kind of rip you on the size of your. Uh, uh, actually, my on. favorite restaurant here is that probably that Italian one we go to. Huh. They they have some good food there. I can't oh, North. It. North. North. So, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. We go there every time Big Fights is in yeah. town. So, if you guys are ever over our area, uh, it's yeah. like Overland Park, the Leewood. It's actually, I think it's excellent. in Leewood. It's off and 119th scallops. and Row in uh, Leewood. It's called North Italiano. It is fire. Just yeah, you got the scallops. Just really mention good. my name. and then. <laughs> No, everybody in there is super cool. There's actually a couple of Moto fans that actually work in there. I met yeah. them all. They're, yeah, they're super all, cool. All cool people. Good people in there. in there. Go in there and check them out. And uh, they got good food. Um, all right, here we go. What if I find go to meal either hang at home or order at a restaurant? All right, look. What's your go to meal? My go to meal? Not here. I'm thinking in general. What's Big Fice's go to meal? A uh, Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, he ain't lying about it. Wawa's well, well, <laughs> single dead man's serious. single man's convenience store. And you guys, anyone's been to the East Coast will know what a Wawa yeah. is. If you've never been to the East Coast, you're like, the hell's a Wawa? They have everything. It's a little convenience store on the East Coast. They're only in like Jersey and Pennsylvania. Uh, right? They're they're actually all the way down to Florida now. Okay, but so, they're actually really good. I, I hit them up every time. W A W A Wawa. <laughs> what kind of motocross did Big Feist used to ride? None. None. So Big Feist was never a motocross rider. Nope. Um, he did have so he, basically when I was growing up, he had an Odyssey first. Yeah. Then you had a three wheeler, and then we yep. all had three wheelers. And then his younger brother had a dirt bike, and that. And then I used to watch my uncle ride, and be like, dang, I want a dirt bike. Uncle Dave, like, looks like he's having more fun than us on our three wheeler. So that's when I asked for a dirt bike. But he he had a Harley and got hit. Yeah. He got hit at a um, at a stop sign. Traffic light. Traffic got light. hit in a truck and got rear-ended in a truck. And then you light. kind of sold your street bike, and then you really... Yeah. He yeah. never really rode. That's why he had to send me to motocross school, because he didn't have he didn't have a lot no, of knowledge. No idea. I didn't even know what motocross was. Yeah. And then uh, I remember watching him. I got a brand new 85, and we were going Loretta's and stock and modified, and we had the, the mod bike made, and, and this bike was clean, super sick. But it was it had a bog. We just got the motor back, and they were trying to jet it, and it would be like, boing, boing. It was bogging, and he was like, oh, man, let me take it out front and try to get this, clean this thing out. And it bogged. It went boo, and then it kicked in. McFeist went, both legs went straight up, <laughs> looped out, bent the subframe. The back fender was standing <laughs> straight <laughs> up. <laughs> I remember I was so pissed because it was my brand-new bike, and I'm like, dude, this dude's a squid. <laughs> but your first bike, the XR. Yeah, I bought you an XR before. Yeah, XR80. Uh, I had an XR. CR. Yeah, had an XR80. 1986 yeah, XR80. the neighbor's car the first day. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I don't think it was the first day. It's probably just within the first oh week or gosh. something. First day you taught me how to ride it, I crashed That's into the right. woods. That's right. Because I didn't know how to use a clutch yet. And you were like, I'm going to teach you how to use the clutch. And I took off and I got all squirrely and went straight into the woods, crashed into the trees. I mm. remember that. And then within the first, it was either first week or first two, week or two, I put my buddy on the back, lived on the corner, Eddie Ramp, yep. and I took him up the street, and when I dropped him off at his house, I went to do a U-turn, and I never looked to see if a car was coming. I turned right into the street, and and luckily, the car was close enough, so as I did a U-turn, 
the car was just passing me. So if I was earlier, I probably would have got, I probably could have got killed. Yeah. I probably would have, because I didn't even look. Took off the guy's mirror. But yeah, I, basically he grazed me and his mirror just blew me off the bike and blew the mirror off of his truck. It was jacked up. So <laughs> don't be doing the don't stupid stuff. Don't door. Hey, your kid ran into my yeah. truck. Yelling at, yelling. I was, I, hey, I was crying that time. You were crying. I was you crying that upstairs. time. You I ran was... through the front door and ran upstairs. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with it? Oh. I was eight years old. I was a little kid. But I do remember sudden, crying because I was pissed yeah. that the, my bike was all smashed up. You just bought me the bike and I smashed yeah. it up. And it was all jacked up. And then the neighbor was pissed. He's yelling. So I got this old dude yelling at me because I wrecked his mm. truck. And now I'm upset because I smashed up my new bike. And I probably should have just been happy I was alive. But I did. I ran to my room and cried. And then, and then he come beat at the door. <laughs> uh, my I door. do remember that, so that's fine. Yeah. That happens. Hey, it's all good. All right, I won't skip anybody's stuff here. And we'll try to step it up real quick here before we run out of time. Um, how many times did I cry? Oh, we saw that one. How many times? Did I, wait. Oh, we got that one. We did it all. So we answered Jess's, right? We got that one? How long did... Wait, did we skip anybody? No, we did... We did. Uh, did we do big fights? Ever go to Saddleback? I don't think. I think I missed the last one. Where Saddleback? So that, no. No. He's never been to. The, I actually Saddleback. I've actually never even raced that track. I know what track you're talking about because I've heard of it, but I've never been there myself. Uh, we got big fights favorite restaurant here, in California. Uh, we just got the Saddleback one. Uh, we got Eric D's. We got that. And then we did this one earlier, right? Jess Hunt. How many times did I cry after losing motos? Yep. Yep. Um, that just ha- all right, peace out, them. Howard. What happened? That just hurt. The next one has question marks. It. Just hunt. Oh, hunt. He okay. got his glasses oh, on. Hunt. He said hard. I, just I hard. never can be. <laughs> Yo, here he is. Hey, Warner's on here, dude. Man. Big Warner's chiming in. Hello, Big Warner. Little Warner. We don't call him Big Warner. Little Warner. Big Warner, I did. I was Big pumped Warner. to see your dad hanging out at the track the other day. We were just place. talking about. So everybody, this is we're my boy. I grew up with him. one of my best friends from New Jersey. Uh, he was my my moto buddy, race buddy forever. And uh, I saw a picture of you and your dad together at the track. Big Warner was uh, flipping um, uh, hamburgers, and Big Fights was just out at the track with me on Saturday. It's good, good to have your dad out of the track again because that's how we grew up, and it's good to you know, 35 plus years later to still be at the track, hanging out with your dad, doing what you love and a uh, good time. So let me get to this last question here and then we'll wrap it up. But, uh, good to see Warner jumping in here real quick and tell big, tell big Warner. I said, what up, dude? Yeah, he's still riding that um, rainbow bike. <laughs> <laughs> Warner. <laughs> uh, let's see here. He said, here, my parents never once came and watched me race as a kid. Not once. How much did you think they missed out? Wait, how much do you think they missed out? They were too scared to see me get hurt. Think they missed out a lot. I mean, yeah, they they probably yeah, did. It's man. always it's yeah, you know, it's normal for a parent, you know, to be I guess afraid. We were just talking about people getting hurt. So the little sixty kid, remember, we were like, oh, his dad was probably stressed, and you were yeah. like, I know exactly what it feels. Yeah. So the sixty kid that came with us, little Brixton, went in. He went on the big track for the first time, and when he went into the back section, he never came out. Yeah. And yeah. he did it, and, we're, and I was like, oh, no. And there's a triple back there kind of leading into this bottom corner, and I'm like, I hope he got stuck in the mud because it was muddy back there, and he's not coming out. And I'm like, and he, on the way home, he's like, oh, I felt bad for his dad because I know how he feels. That was the worst feeling. So uh, We had a track at English Town, and you went up up over the, uh, what was that called, the uh, stair? Yeah, staircase. The staircase. And you go in the back, and you're in the back for, oh, man, for probably a minute or so, even longer than that, it seemed. But you always waited for him to come over that big jump where you come out. Mm. What the heck did they call that? And you went into that big uh, turn. The plunge. The plunge. You yep. come over the plunge. And if you didn't see him come over the plunge, then you start to work. Yeah, because you, you can't see when, that part of the track. Yeah, when you don't see him so coming out of the back. So we get it, like, how you could feel. Because I started to get, I'm not, it's not even my kid. And I was thinking, oh, man, I hope this dude didn't crash back there. I hope he's all right. I hope he's just stuck in the mud. I hope he didn't catch. Because it was taking forever. And then I'm watching, and I saw the yellow flag going. And I'm like, all right, the yellow flag's out. Then I was watching the the track officials to see how people were acting i'm like is anyone running back there and then i just seen the guy take off on the utv and i was like all right maybe he's just stuck in the mud so i can get it you know maybe they didn't come because they didn't want to watch you um get hurt or see you but at the same time i 100 percent think they missed out on some stuff because me and big fights had the funniest memories and we got you know 
some of the yeah, some yeah, of the like, stuff over the years that we've and done. Just, and that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. when I just look at the picture of me and him, just the one I posted today, I just look at that and think like, dang, this is kind of cool that I, I look and like here we are still doing what we did when I was eight years old. I'm 45 and I'm still doing what I did. My dad's still there with me. Like so, yeah. I, <laughs> I think they did miss out on something. And if I have a kid, I'm going to be there for whatever my kid wants to do. If he wants to ride dirt bikes, I'm going to be there if he wants to ride dirt bikes. And if you don't, what yeah. do you want to do then? I'm not going to make you ride dirt bikes. You want to go play football? Let's go play football. You want to do – because that's how he was. He was basically like, I'm like, Dad, I want to play baseball. All right, cool. Let's play baseball. Dad, I want to play football. All right, sign me up for football. Dad, I want to do karate. It was karate. Dad, I want to wrestle. Dad, I want to soccer. All right, Dad, I want to quit everything and do dirt bikes. And he was always supporting me all the way. So I'm going to be the same way with my kids. Whatever they want to do, support them. All the way through. Um, all right, so did we miss it? Did Jess have another one up here? Well, Jess has a bunch here. All right, and we're going to we're gonna step it up because we're already at 801. We're going to rip it right here. Just because I don't like uh, – we can go a little late. We haven't been on here in a month or so, and I, I, I want to leave Mike's question out. It's a big fight. Who got Ronnie into moto? Um Maybe I'm, I mean, who got you in the motors? Probably your buddy Neil. He's the one who talked us into going to the races. <laughs> the, we went to the first race with him. So at Sleepy I, I, the full story is: remember, I mentioned Uncle Dave. Yeah. Uncle Dave got a dirt bike, and I was like, "Oh man, Dave, Uncle Dave's getting around the pit way better than me. I want a dirt bike?" He bought me a dirt bike. At the end of the day, I got to give all the credit to my dad because he bought the dirt bike. He took me to the races. Warner, dude, who just jumped on here with us, I'll throw him up right here. This dude went to the race before me, and this guy lived in my neighborhood. He's my best friend growing up. We lived about two streets apart, and we had that gravel pit, uh, lived right up the street. And we rode there together every day in the dark. He went and raced that race. He came home, and he was so pumped because he did good too, right? Yeah. I know he came home with a trophy. And you guys were playing football together. Yeah, we, the same yeah and we went to school together, whatever. And, but I remember he had a trophy, and I was like, dude, you got a trophy? i got to go try to get a trophy. So... It was, uh, we all influenced each other. We all so, went together, actually, yeah. to sleep, and then Sleepy Hollow. The it became, race. it became, and, and like, one, we had our, and we, dude, we, you guys know, you guys go to the track. It's the same everywhere. We grew up in New Jersey where there's a small little moto community. Me and Warner were tight friends. We went there, and then you make all those friends at the track, and they become family. Yeah. And you have that. We had people at the motocross track that we still talk, like, like me and Neil never lost t in touch. And we still got all the friends that were moto friends that we grew up racing with 30-some-plus yeah. years ago that we're still in contact with today that we met at the races. Yeah. And I know all you guys got people like that, and that's the beauty of the sport. I'm in touch with a lot of people. Yeah, People's it, homes that we used to yeah. stay up in Pennsylvania, Newton Swart. His family, we used to stay in Pennsylvania with him when we raced up there. He's now a bar owner in Florida, or not Florida, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Still in touch with him. Yeah. And his mother, woman, we call her. Sipe, our boy Sipe. Jerry Sipe. Sipe, Danglers. Yeah. I mean, there's a ton. I mean, and even like when I just start looking back, like even like Twitch and Deegan, they're going to be dudes, even though like, like Warner and Dangler and Sipe were all the guys that were in my early race career. And, uh, in New Jersey, and then there was like the California years of being with Twitch and 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 Deegan, all those dudes. But they're gonna, they're another group of friends. They're gonna be friends for forever, lifetime friends. You know, I live in the Midwest now. Deegan's in Carolina. Twitch is still in California. We're all all spread out, yeah. but that friendship and it, it it it'll never go away. It's always there. So the sport's awesome. But just to finish up, Jet's question was: I begging for a dirt bike? He says, did you? So big fights didn't ride. Was it something that you watched? I I I watched uh, I watched all the Rick Johnson was my my, my hero back then. We so watched a lot watched, of Davey, oh, David yeah, Bailey's. Yeah, David Bailey, uh, Rick Johnson videos got me on Spark. Yeah, David Bailey videos. And then, I was, was I begging for a dirt bike? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like any other kid. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, hey, uh, yo. The, hey, Eric. look at Eric D. Eric. No Sorry. doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Ah, that's too funny because <laughs> I told him that he, was, he didn't believe me. I was like, dude, trust me. That's too funny. I'm telling you, no doubt. <laughs> Oh, I'll send you the videos. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, big fight, best show you ever seen Ronnie do in freestyle year stadium. Freestyle the best, show, the best show. So think about shows. You got Nuclear Cowboy Show, Tony Hawk oh, the show. Nuclear Cowboy show. Better than Tony Hawk. Yeah, I like. You Nuclear like that better? Cowboy. All right, he's yeah, going I, Nuclear Cowboys over Tony Hawk. Actually, Boom Boom Hawk Jam. Nuclear Cowboy tour. I was on that two years. I went to every show after I retired for two years. That was I. That was a great show. You always something, even though you watched the show, the whole tour, mm -hmm. you saw parts in it that you missed. Mm. You know, you you always see something. Oh, what, 
they just add that, and then you just miss it. Oh, in okay. the because even though you've been there and even watch though the show you've been there and watch it, yeah, yeah, like, times, you, yeah you always yeah. miss something. Because all those shows are choreographed. So yeah. Tony Hawk, Boom Boom Hawk, Tony tour. Hawk was a great show too. But I love that tour because it yeah. was cool. Because it wasn't just a, it wasn't yeah. just a moto tour. We had skateboarding and BMX, so it was good to because you see all those guys at X Games. See Tony, uh, Bucky Lasica, Dave Mira, uh, Chad Keggy. Uh, Kevin Robinson, you see these guys at X yeah. Games every year, but it's always just kind of like mutual respect, like, hey, how's it going? And you, you don't really get to hang out with them because you're kind of in your own world and you got your event to do and you're on your schedule that weekend. And you, you know all the moto guys. So that tour was cool because it brought skateboard and moto and BMX together. And we were on a bus tour and it was a, it was a two, two, two or three month tour. Yeah. And, uh, it's when you spend when you live with uh, other athletes on a bus and drive from city to city and do shows every single night you you get to know people and you you bond you know you yeah. ride together you do shows together and you do bond you hang out afterwards and it's and it's Tony seriously Hulk, Tony Hawk was like the greatest guy no, he's yeah, not, the super nicest cool. guy all those dudes I like, remember the first time I met him whoever's on your bus you will bond with cuz you basically live with him for 3 months I remember the first time I met him at, at the first show I went to I think he introduced me we were in the um, in the room before the show, mm -hmm. and the next day I was walking down the street. I forget where it was. The show was, but I was walking down the street, and somebody yelled to me. It was Tony sitting in the restaurant outside? He yelled to me, called me over, and bought me lunch. Huh. Sat there at the table, had lunch. Nicest nah, guy cool you want to meet. All those dudes. Every I mean, all them guys on the tour. Everybody were, were good guys. super all cool. Them. The great tour to be on. Nuclear Cowboys was another. Which one are they? One Warner's talking about Yulo. Hey, look at look at. He's, he's he's talking about Yulo, uh, so Yulkowski. So oh, another one yes. of our buddies was in our crew, and yeah, uh, his yeah. name's Sean Lee Yulkowski. He's Sean. Justin Brayton's mechanic, and he was another one of our boys yeah. that we grew up racing with, and uh, ended up becoming a factory mechanic uh, for Justin Brayton. So a lot of d good dudes came out of Jersey and uh, did a lot of stuff. So good times, and uh, got my boy Adam here, brother. Good you made it on here. It's all good being late. Glad you're here. <laughs> But uh, we'll wrap it up, dude. Sorry for going a little late, but good to uh, get back on here and hang out with you guys. Let me see here. Thomas jumping on here. Boom, boom, hunk jam. Not only brought skater crowd, MX crowd. Yeah, motor crowd. Yeah, sick. Super fun. Miss those days. Love those tours. Love all the guys. Oh, yeah. And uh, what do you got going here? It says burritos. <laughs> what the hell is that? He's over here ordering food or something. <laughs> what are you doing? This dude, what's, he's over <laughs> <laughs> this dude's jacked up, dude. He says he's got burrito farts the or burrito something. Burrito blast. <laughs> <laughs> the burrito blast. You've had the burrito blast since you've been here. This dude will trash his house, blow up this bathroom. Good lord. The girls put me up to that. <laughs> this dude is is nasty. You watch uh, out. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks again for hanging out. What does Warner say? Birdman told me I was missing it. Yeah, you got to be out here, Big Warner. Um, but good times. Um, let's see. Yeah. So Brian says, pleasure to meet you, big fights. Hope to see you at home. He'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. Be so back. let's just see, like, what are we in right now? We're in July. I, so, well, actually I come back for Thanksgiving. I think you're going to be back for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think this year. So basically year. we're, I'm home until my sister's wedding. I'm being yeah. in town to sister's wedding. So I'll we'll see you I, at the I wedding. Go down the Taking wedding. him back to the airport tomorrow. I'll we'll see him in October for the wedding. Then, then you'll November. be out here for November. And then we're gonna we're gonna hunt again together this year. So yeah, we're looking at we'll maybe Ohio, Ohio, New, Ohio Jer New Jersey. I want to come to Ohio because it's got bigger bucks. He wants to hang out with my jacked up cousin. Oh my god, <laughs> Big Gary, Big Gary, yeah. <laughs> Big Gary. He's sweet, dude. Gary Feist, <laughs> gotta love him, dude. Um, but yeah, it'll be a good time. So looking forward to uh, some uh, Feist family hunting trips, and uh, and then uh, we'll be getting after it. All right. So we'll let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry for keeping you guys a little bit longer than we normally go. Uh, but we'll keep you posted on the next live. So uh, ride safe. Stay blessed. We're out. Ow. <laughs> <Did you kill? laughs> oh, no. Just what? to wrap up. Corey, I haven't. So they told me 12 months. So I should pick it up here in... Uh, oh, is that in. Corey to, you hunt with? No. Oh. No, no. It's just another different one. Oh. Uh, but anyway... Hopefully, oh, I have your book mount. I thought yeah. he was asking about the side by side. I'll, I'll post a pic when I get it. It looks yeah. sick. Oh, All yeah. right, brother. What's Big Warner saying? Field of Dreams. Yeah, that's yeah, a track got, in New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, we got to hit Field it. of Dreams. Yeah.
Let me borrow your bike, Warner, when I get back there. Yeah, you don't want to ride that rainbow bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Peace out, man. Be safe. Stay blessed. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Much love. <laughs>